Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed your Halloween last night. The dribbling challenge you've all been waiting for is finally here. After about two weeks of working on this map, the challenge is available to the public with $2,000 US up for grabs. I've partnered with Manscaped, who have been a huge presence in the Rocket League scene over this past year or so. And with their help, they've raised 1500 US with 500 US coming from myself to fund the challenge. Manscaped have a variety of amazing products to choose from on their store and I highly recommend you check them out. I have two of the razors myself along with body wash and foot deodorant and safe to say, that I'm extremely satisfied with the products, I would definitely buy them again. When I first thought of who to reach out to, they came to mind first because of how helpful they've been to the community. And when I reached out to them to help me out with this event, they were more than happy to help the Rocket League streaming community grow. Now going into the details, if you want to compete in this challenge for the prizes, make sure you follow all the rules that are considered here. The prize pool is broken down into three main prizes. The two world record prizes are $750 US for first place world record on normal difficulty by December 1st, 2019. And then for second place world record, uh, there is $250 US uh, on normal difficulty by December 1st, 2019. Uh, for $1,000 US, this is the really, really difficult one. I'm not sure if people will get it. It's going to be open forever though. So if people find a way to do it later down the road and they finally get it, then the prize will be sent to them. But this prize is for completing the impossible mode on this map, which if you go into the map, you'll learn what that is. Basically, impossible mode is if you fail or you reset, you're going back to level zero all the time. But to start things off, this is a stream challenge. That means you must be streaming your attempts. I will be streaming my own runs as well to help promote the event. And I'll be visiting channels during my streams and maybe recording and seeing how you guys are doing. And if anyone sees anything crazy funny or any crazy fails, I want to make sure you guys clip those and send them to me. Um, one of the rules later on will be about joining the Discord. And I think if if you guys want to show me some clips uh, that would be pretty funny, you can definitely jump drop them in there. All right, so with this being a streamed event, I'll just lay out all the rules real fast. There are a lot of them, but this is just to make sure that everything is fair, regulated, easy to verify, all that stuff. There's two sets of rules. One's for the competition rules. Rule one is that you must be streaming. We've already covered this. You can record while streaming as well. Otherwise, just use your VOD for YouTube. I'm just making sure that it's bringing the community together online and you know gives more awareness for the event. Rule number two, obviously you must have your VODs active. This is very important since I need to be able to verify your run and make sure that there's no cheating or manipulating going on. And so make sure your, your VOD is activated and then that's where you can link it to me later down the road. Rule number three is you must include the title Lethemir's Manscaped Dribbling challenge with an exclamation mark in the stream title. This is just to give awareness for the challenge and help broadcast Manscaped and, and thank them for this event. Rule number four is that you must create a command with the exclamation mark challenge, which links to this video so that others, when they look at your challenge and you can tell them where to go, you basically just tell them to look at this video and read through the rules. Rule number five is make sure you include this overlay in any of the corners of the screen. That doesn't really matter how big it is. Just make sure it's readable. Um, I've attached it in the description of the video and also I'll be posting the overlay on Twitter. Rule number six is you must be part of my discord which you can join in the description if you haven't already. There will be a channel for dribbling runs where people can link their VODs and maybe also a channel for uh, clips and stuff. Uh, please include the link as a normal or impossible mode with the time and then link your VOD right afterwards. Rule number seven, in the event that the impossible mode is completed and this run is faster than the fastest world record time on normal, which is very possible considering the fact that if you're running in impossible mode that you haven't failed at all, but it probably will be a little bit more controlled than a, than a world record pace. In the case that it is faster though, the prize pool will only go to the impossible mode. You have to complete the world record on normal difficulty. So if you're good enough to be completing the impossible mode, I think that you could probably make another good run on normal mode down the road. There's gonna be two different niches. Basically one's gonna be world record runs and then one's gonna be impossible run. Now onto the gameplay rules. This is quite simple. Uh, the map must be loaded through the workshop menu. There can't be any loading through map replacement or anything like that to make sure that there isn't any tampering with the maps or anything like that. Rule number two is every level must be completed. You must go through every gate. This is to make sure that you can't skip through all the levels, even though I've practically made it impossible to do so anyways uh, by this picture on the screen. You can see all those green lines are basically uh, barriers that will reset you if you go into them. Rule number three, no use of third party mods, Bacchus mod or, or alpha console. Bacchus mod can be active, but just not be used for any skipping of levels or anything like that during the streams. Rule number four, in accordance with rule three, no changing of in-game properties, so you can't change how much boost, uh, speed, or or gravity, bounciness of the ball, whatever. Like anything physics-wise cannot be touched, and I'll be looking very, very carefully at the, f the final runs to see if anything's been tampered with. Rule number five, unfortunately, in the event of any glitches in the run, very unlikely though, as I've heavily bug tested it, this run will be terminated. And uh, just make sure you report it to uh, me in the server on Discord or message me individually on Twitter 
Just make sure to DM me. My DMs are always open. Just make sure you send it to ASAP and I can fix it and send up a new a new version of the map. Uh, rule number six, just wanted to specify this. Make sure there's no bots or task bots or anything of that sort. It has to be a physical person, a human being. Obviously, it would be very easy to make a bot that would just travel through the level perfectly. I want to make this a, a very genuine and very real experience for everybody and not make it so gainer can just fly over to level 30 in the first 30 seconds yeah i'm looking at you guys your freestylers and the final thing i'll just say is just have fun with the map i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys enjoy watching these fails and and attempts by people uh, it was a lot of fun to make and i'll be posting a video soon of how i made all the parts work and how i made all the moving things work and uh, basically all the inner workings of the map I'll, I'll outline those and that'll kind of be like a tutorial for how to map make and stuff um, obviously I'm still learning. I'm learning all the time. I've been doing this map making stuff for about eight months now, but I'm always enjoying the journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much all the rules. I'm just going to basically just show a little bit of the map just to tease it a little bit. And I hope you guys have fun. Best of luck. Cheers.